What's going on? What's going on, man? It's your boy, me and Emily in the building, man. Checking in with y'all on this another great day, on this another great video. <laughs> um, I'm reading this book, man, called Resurrection. Let me see if it'll focus. Resurrection by Neville Goddard. Um, great book. Neville Goddard is one of my favorite authors. Um, because I ain't gonna lie, like, some of his books are gonna change my life, like, the the way I think. Like, if I haven't read, if I wouldn't have read Unlocking the Keys to the Bible, y'all wouldn't be hearing me talk like this, for real. Like, I, I would still have, you know, the knowledge and the wisdom that's God-given, but just me aligning myself with that book and you know, uh, enlightening my mind, like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm that deal, like, I understand this stuff, like, I understand the world, and, um, I came across something he said in his book earlier when I was reading it, and I wanted to kind of read it for y'all and just break it down a little bit, I'm not gonna make this a long video, um, but let's go into it, he said, All right, so let's, let's go into it. So I'm going to start right here for y'all. He said, by controlling of the feeling is not meant to restraint or suppression of your feeling, but rather the disciplining of self to imagine and entertain only such feeling as contributes to your happiness. He said, control of your feeling is all important to a full and happy life. Never entertain an undesirable feeling, nor think sympathetically about wrong in any shape or form. Do not dwell on the imperfection of yourself or others. To do so is to impress the subconscious with these limitations. What you do, what you do not want done unto you, do not feel that it is done unto you or another. This is the whole law of a full and happy life. Everything else is commentary. Man, 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 man. So just to kind of break down what he's saying there is basically letting you know that The feeling you think about yourself, the feeling you think about someone else is ultimately the feeling that you will exude out into the world. So if you walking around feeling like, you know, I'm a million bucks, but you got a dollar in your account, but you feel like I'm a million bucks and you really believe in that in your mind. You know, in your imagination, your imagination is God. It is the form, the creation, and then the outwardly expression of everything that you do. And that's nothing but God. So everything around you came here through the form of imagination. Somebody thought about it. Somebody used their God power to align themselves with what they wanted to see in the physical. Right? So... This is why I have my name as Millionaire Melly. No, I'm not a millionaire yet, but if I can feel that, if I can exude that and put the action in towards that, then eventually I will become that. So that is what he's saying there. Um, it's, it's, it's very simple what he's saying, but it's very deep because it goes into the... It's the, like you said, it's, it's the law of the world. Like everything else is commentary. Like everything else is just coming, it's, it's kind of like just piggybacking off of that. He said, uh, also he said, don't entertain feelings that don't make you happy. So that's so powerful because that can get you anywhere in life. If you, if you going through something, you know, this something that you're going through does not make you happy. Why well, continue to entertain those those thoughts, those feelings, that person, that situation, that environment, if it's not making you happy, if it's not helping you grow? 
simple gym, but so powerful, and it would definitely change your mind. Like these are some of the things I live by. Like I don't, I don't try to entertain things that don't bring me happiness. Do I sometimes do? Yeah, of course I'm human. But a lot of times I catch myself like, man, that ain't bringing me no happiness. Let me get up. Let me get away from that. That person ain't bringing me no happiness, no peace. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me get away from that. So yeah, man, definitely go and cop that book. Like I said, it's it's not going to be a long video. I don't know why it's showing up upside down for y'all, but it's Resurrection by Neville Goddard, one of my favorite authors. Um, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, comment, subscribe. Excuse me, and I'm going to tap in with y'all on the next video. Me and Emily, and I'm gone. You feel me? Yeah.